hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be answering all your juicy questions if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe you know what to do and i just want to tell you guys this one's gonna be a hot juicy one so i've got myself a tankare i want to pour myself a tankare i would encourage you to grab your drink as well if you're into this let me pour myself a tankare so today i have the tankare rangpur lime now just as a gin and tonic this tankare rangpur <laughs> Rangpur Lime, it's such a hard thing to say, I'm a Kikuyu, my god. Gotta stay ready. Genuinely, I just drink water um, with gin and ice cubes. And you can even add, like my favorite thing to add is like cucumber. I mm, love it. Cucumber and um, kiwi. The other day I tried a kiwi, in kiwi infused cocktail. Oh god, it was so good. Kiwi and cucumber. Oh, such a nice combination. So, those are my faves. Okay, guys. Cheers. Let's start this video. As we're sipping on some tankery, I'm going to be doing my makeup as well. Um, I want to shoot some content just here in the house. Just a little bit of it. So, before we continue, I just want to introduce to you guys the sponsor of today's video. And that's Skillshare. You guys already know. So, Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can get literally thousands of courses on literally anything. I have basically been on the platform and I've learned so much about like finding my creative voice, how to build a brand, how to be more productive, how to be an entrepreneur. I've even learned stuff about how to take care of my plants in the house. So, there's literally a course for everyone, and it's one of those things where you can just like go into a rabbit hole of learning. And I love the fact that they have more than 1000 courses on there that are just so beneficial for you. I'm going to be giving the first few people who sign up using the link below a free month of Skillshare. You can go on there and just dive in and see what you can learn, what you can get. And it's in such a nice palatable way. So use the link below. It's on, it's going to be a one month free for just the first few sign up. So please don't miss out. Don't say I didn't tell you. Let's continue. So I'm going to start with my Mac strobe hydrant cream. This is my primer. These days, my skin is so dry. It's just so dry. So I'm just like, oh, let's just be using hydrating primers. Um, we're going to start with the questions that are kind of like softball questions because I can see it's kind of the questions that people always ask. Always. It's always like, how tall are you? How old are you? What did you study? Where did you study? So I'm going to get those done. I'm turning 30 this year and I keep getting... <laughs> A lot of people just laughing like, yo, you're growing old, you are growing so old, and I'm like, nah. So next, I've just sprayed my face with the MAC All Day Hydrating Fix Hydrating Spray. I like a wet base before I start my foundation, so that's why I do that. So then I'll get my Fenty Beauty Blurring Skin Tint in shade number 16. So this one is one of my favorites. Actually, it's my favorite, to be honest. Um, it's what I use on a daily, and then if I want more coverage, I just use, like, another product on top of it. But it helps to give you that nice skin-like, skin-like, flawless foundation look, if that makes sense. Okay, so how old am I? I'm 29, I'm turning 30, and I am not ashamed. Like, people always be like, yo... <laughs> You're starting to grow old. You know those comments like people are like, oh, you're growing old. When are you going to get married? I'm like, listen, peeps. <laughs> First of all, 30 is like the new 20, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Millennials, we are blessed because 40-year-olds are even looking like 30-year-olds. I think we're more health conscious. We're more aware. As much as like the world is getting like more toxic, to be honest, I feel like if you're someone who takes care of yourself and just like takes the time to understand how to take care of yourself, You've aged like fine wine, okay? You will. So I'm 29. I went to Precious Blood Ruta for high school. And then after that, I went to primary. I was in McKinney School. Then I went to Precious Blood Ruta. And then I went to Brook House for International Foundation Year. And then I went to University of Leeds for um, Architectural Engineering, which is what I studied. Oh my God. And then after that, I just came back to Kenya and I worked here for some time. For two and a half years, I think, in project management, um, in construction. And then... I quit my job and I became a content creator. <laughs> so that's the story. Next question is how tall am I? I am five foot three. I'm short. I'm I'm very short, so people always get shocked by that. But I think Instagram makes you look taller, so I'm very very short. I'm like a small. Next question. I like this question is describe your dream house. Um, to be honest. My dream house has to be somewhere very green with beautiful landscaping and just a lot of greenery. I don't like houses that um, have too many walls. I want like an open plan house and also like something a bit traditional like haciendas, like Sp Spanish haciendas. So I don't know how, how to mix the two. Uh, maybe I should draw and practice because I haven't done architecture in a while. 
but i would i have the visual in my head but i just feel like it's 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 like a mix of modern and also like very home and cozy and green yeah and like very natural earthy tones to me that's perfect do you miss a nine to five job i don't i really don't i um i think my personality type guys just doesn't allow for me to do such things i don't i can't like if you put me in one place and tell me you must sit here day to day or the same like the same thing i'm doing every day i will have a panic attack because even as i was a kid i used to struggle even in boarding school i used to like feel like i generally used to feel like i'm gonna bust because that thing of the thing of just like sitting in one place day in day out i just feel like i can't so that's why i really love my job and i feel like ah, it allows me to be dynamic every day is different um i travel a lot and i feel like that's why i am always on the move it's because like when i sit in one place for too long i feel so stressed out um yeah so i don't miss a nine to five job i would love a job where i'm allowed to like do my thing uh, maybe be in control of my own time not have to be in the office at a certain time like that would be perfect for me but hey don't know if that exists <laughs> next question what's your biggest fear in life hmm interesting so i think just the biggest fear in life for me is having like a very dysfunctional family and bringing like kids up in an uh, unhealthy environment for me that's such a big deal and then also like being unhappy you know how you just like look around and you're like man you mean i did all this just to be unhappy you know so I think that's a really, really big fear for me because I really just want to have a simple thing. It's just I want a happy family. I want just to have enough. I don't want all the money in the world, to be honest. It's not my goal. Um, but I do want to just be happy, to have enough to travel and to bring up kids who have good values. Like, that's what I want. You are in a long-distance relationship. How are you managing it? <laughs> I love how people just <laughs> straight jump into it. Huh? Just have, like, set days set months in the year where we're like okay this month is for travel this other month is for travel so you budget according to that and then you also know like okay i'm coming to spend a month with you and then sometimes he comes like for two months so yeah that's how we manage um when did you make your first million <laughs> to be honest i think i was 25 or 26 um is when i saw like okay i've actually clocked 1m i was so happy it definitely wasn't in my career unfortunately because i feel like what i was earning that's, and that's one of the reasons I also just said to myself, I, I think <laughs> me, I don't know, the way my life is set up, I need to earn more money. So I kind of just thought about it and I was like, hmm, I think I can earn more than this. So I end up, ended up actually within the six, first six months of quitting my job, making more than what I had made, I used to make as my salary. And I used to make that like, I think I got an, invited to an event like in my influencing career, the first, first months of me like quitting and doing influencing. I got invited to an event that paid me 80,000 for a few hours of attending the event and of course posting four posts and i was like what you mean because you know you actually take pictures on the day so you have the posts already the content is already there and i got paid like literally almost what i was getting paid for my job and i was just like what so i feel like um making making my first million became easier when i started doing my own thing and when i started taking off um financially and just managing my own money and the best thing about managing your own business is like the harder you work the more you get um how did I gain weight? You guys, I just ate. I just ate. Like, why is everyone so pressed about my weight? Ah, oh, gosh. It's actually annoying, but um, yes, I've gained 10 kgs. <laughs> oh, I keep saying this and people don't believe me. But I'm usually, I am usually 65, no, I'm usually 57 kgs. And I'm currently at 68 kgs. And it keeps going up. And I don't know why. And I'm not pregnant. I am not pregnant. But you can even see my boobs are like boobing. I'm just like, okay, okay, let's, whatever the body is doing, I'm embracing my new body. So please don't come at me and tell me, oh, you're so fat. Uh -uh, it's not, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. <laughs> Um, what age do you want kids and how many? Uh, to be honest, I could have kids now. Like I'm, I'm kind of like, if it happens, it happens. If, if it doesn't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad if it, if it happens basically. So right now would be good. Next year would also be okay. The other year would also be fine. I'm not pressed for it, but it's a nice thing. And I definitely do want kids. If someone wrote a book, you, those questions are interesting. I like them. And I thought most of them would be like super, okay. I think I've overblended. <laughs> I'm forgetting to do my makeup. By the way, I need to point out to you guys, I've slept for like four hours. Last night, I slept so badly. 
I slept so so badly. I kept waking up. I even put on a show. I never do that. I put on a show in the middle of the night to watch to try and get me to sleep and I was like, what is this? Like I'm not usually that person, but yeah, last night was heavy. To have just a bit more coverage. I'm going to add um the Fit Me Maybelline matte poreless this one. I don't know what it's called. The Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 330 normal to oily skin. I really like this foundation. It's it's the bomb and it's so affordable also like compared to like others i really like it so okay next question is if someone wrote a book about you what would it be called hmm i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm trying to think what would it be called um a book about me let's see how's my life been like i think it would be called something like um beautifully chaotic or this beauty in the mess something like that i don't know because i feel like my life has been upside down not the worst but like it has been upside down um lots of lessons as a young girl just like lots of learnings and like things that you know are just like wow i have stories for days honestly like i think it would just be like something like beautifully chaotic i had a blog about that back in the day when i was in uni um i used to just write about the things that were in my head i think it's still there you can search it up and see but yeah, maybe it will be called that. Will you re relocate once married? Oh, hmm. we'll see. When will you ever travel to TZ and Uganda? We want to meet you. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, Y'all have been asking me to do like a greet, meet and greet. It's like meeting people. Like, I don't know. You know, I'm an introvert and I don't know if people know that. I am so, first of all, I've always been like a little bit of a shy girl and like I was afraid of like crowds and people so it takes a lot for me to work through that um, especially in my industry like you have to be out there right and a lot of people are like oh but you're always on the camera and when I'm on the camera I'm at home I'm talking to you guys I'm at home I'm alone right so it's not the same but I do think I should do one soon because I have um, a lot of people telling me that that they want to meet me and stuff like that and when you meet me please don't be like yeah you're so short <laughs> because I feel like that's what everyone tells me oh so I didn't tell you what what I did I'm using the Mac prep and prime um transparent finishing powder just to set my under eye oopsie <laughs> so yeah i'm just using that to set my under eye and this area where i get like super oily just around here yep i don't bake or anything and i'm not even a makeup guru so don't come at me i don't know i just do what i do okay so next thing is gonna be this um nw50 studio fix powder plus studio fix powder plus foundation so this is actually my mom's shade and i realize it's perfect for contouring for me where do i get my glasses from so i know you a lot of people see me with like different styles of glasses because i feel like it's it's a thing i like to do i like to collect glasses here and there so if you want to get some a nice pair from kenya you can go to urban tortoise they have really amazing frames and they also have frames that are literally like one off like you won't get them anywhere else no one else will have them so i like that because there'll always be something unique and then another thing i do is i go to a company called farmer.com it's from the us let me tell you those things are so affordable it's like 20 dollars, and then sometimes i have buy one get one free so it's like ridiculous i'll buy like six pairs of frames when i'm feeling like i want to spoil myself and because of ordering the first time I know my size and even you can just like measure your glasses because they have the measurement so you can measure just the top so that you know what size you range in small medium or large i'm usually small or extra small sometimes i go to the kids yeah the kids section but yeah i always do that even for my shoe size way i'm a size three <laughs> my shoe size is size three so i'm always in the kids section but anyway um yeah so you can do that um order them and then i ship with a company called aquanto.com aquanto is a shipping company in kenya i think they charge 14 dollars per kg your glasses will not be a kg so you'll you'll pay probably like 1600 to 1700 for shipping and they deliver to your doorstep so it's really good um yeah but that's what i do and that's how i end up collecting glasses then I don't get the prescription online. I usually, they, when they come to Kenya, I take them to Optica and I take, and it costs about maybe 1,500 to get lenses. Um, just depending on your prescription, it can be 1,000 to maybe 3,000. And then if you want like sunglasses, they also do that. I think it's like 3,500. I can't remember the prices, but it's something like that. So that's how I've been able to grow like my collection of glasses. I hope that answers your question. The next question as I do my contour is what's my skincare routine oh 
you guys know my skin and me are a problem we're not friends at all like it's ah, hormonal acne is what i have okay and that means every every because our hormones change like every month depending on even me, what i eat how i'm working out how i've slept my hormones change all the time and that's what my skin changes all the time i could be doing i could be doing so well i could be having like the clearest skin this week and then next week it's like full breakouts so i'm always dealing with dark spots with acne with um um blackheads so it's something i have to be on top of my game all the time um i've also noticed like when i go back to basics that's what my skin prefers so skincare without fragrance skincare that's just like bare minimum and then of course with those exfoliating when i feel like my skin is starting to break out i usually use benzoyl peroxide but and that's something i just have to do i've accepted i have to do that for the rest of my life a lot of people are always like Connie, your skin doesn't get better <laughs> if someone could just help me fix my hormones <laughs> i'd be so happy i would be happy because i'm just like listen every time i go to to a guy now they'll just be like ah you know you can just stick bath control i'm a babe for like let's do things the natural way let me work out let me eat healthy if that doesn't work and worse comes to worse then fine but like so far i get breakouts here and that you can see but my skin is not perfect and i know it would be really good with bath control but i'm willing to just have not perfect skin and not have to take like medicine i don't know what this that stuff does to my body Ah, the side effects are too crazy so i do advocate for birth control but i just can't for me i just can't handle the hormonal ones okay next question is on skincare actually honest review on your dmk treatment <gasps> i actually want to go back to dmk treatments those things worked for my skin like i'm telling you my skin was popping i used to love how like even my forehead was just glowing you know how it was days for wearing masks also i remember you wear a mask and then your forehead is just glowing everyone would tell me wow your skin is so nice and they're just like judging from my forehead i'm telling you my skin was doing so well it's just something that i think if you have the monies it's a great thing to do for yourself it really really works it's the one and only facial i've seen that i can actually do every month without fail because my skin just looks so plump and youthful I'm not a fan of chemical peels and all that just because my skin doesn't like irritation. Like I did them and, and I just started breaking out. So I'm like, eh, let's leave it. Hey, this is a deep question. What was my biggest turning point in life? What? My biggest turning point. That's a loaded question. Oh my gosh. Um, definitely when I quit my job. That has to be one of the biggest. Um, actually, one of the biggest. Let me tell you, I was in Precious Blood Reruta. And I ended up moving schools because they had told us they had suspended us. And then and it was just ridiculous because it was right before Mox. My parents were so pissed off. Like, it was so much drama. Story time, guys. So, so this is before Mox, right? I went to Makini and I was like, what in the world? That was such a big culture shock. Because I'm like, how is this? How is it possible? This is how people who are in high school doing Form 4, about to do exams, are functioning. Like, this is actually how school should be you know in precious blood we used to read 24 7 like you're at break time you're reading you're in the toilet you're reading with a book you're in the dining hall you're eating you have a book let me tell you break time break time in makini was like this yeah guys had guitars playing guitars playing football going for art classes i don't know things i was just like oh my god this is so crazy <laughs> so for me it was such a big culture shock and then cool so i made really good friends especially hanging out with boys it's always like more I feel like a dynamic of boys and girls is always better because you there's more stores there's more like vibes girls catholic school was boring so people started talking about like brook house and everything and going to the ify international foundation here and i was like this is nice so it opened my eyes to that kind of world where it's like i can actually go outside the country even with KCSC, you can do the foundation here and actually go outside the country for easier. So a bunch of us, a bunch of the people who are in McKinney at the time, we applied to go to Brookhouse and ended up going to Brookhouse. And that's what led me to go to the UK. So that gave me a lot of exposure as a person, as a growing girl, as just like so I got so, so many things. And once you're like thrown out in the world, it's like really nice. So from there, I kind of like grew more independent. I actually took myself to uni. My mom didn't come to university until graduation year so i was there solo dolo just doing my thing and that exposure for me has been a very fundamental part of my life no lies no cap it's been such a good part for me because i can literally hop step and jump to any part of this world and i'll be good i'm not afraid so that's another big turning point another another huge huge turning point relationships when i learned my worth in relationship i said you know what what am i doing what am i doing with this those are points just realized to 
to myself what the hell am i actually doing and it's always like uh it's a journey guys so you have to grow into it and you have to like allow yourself to make mistakes but i feel like once you realize <laughs> You sit in your worth and you're just so happy. So that's another huge, huge turning point for me. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and come back because I can't do them here when I'm talking. I don't know how it's looking so far, but I went ahead to just do my eyeliner, my eyebrows, my lashes. So I'm going to finish off with a few more questions as I do my lippy combo, which is like my favorite lip combo I want to share with you guys. So next question is who did my brows? So I have my brows microbladed and I did them at brows, brow revamp. Um, do I prefer buying a house? So apartment personally i think buying a house an apartment is better because you can rent it out easier what happened to the 100k giveaway winners whoops you guys please don't come at me you know what happened is um we had had a partnership with parking radisson for them to host um the giveaway but then it didn't happen but it didn't work out so unfortunately that didn't happen let me plan myself and then see what i can do for you guys um would i ever have a meet and greet i would i definitely would um and i discussed like i just need to organize it properly like a day trip and then it would be kind of like a meet and greet so yeah so that we can inco incorporate like travel and like a meet and greet have i had any cosmetic surgery uh i haven't i genuinely haven't i'm only starting to learn about cosmetic surgery now and trying to understand like what people can actually do i've never done botox any injections even the iv thing i see people doing to like it's like a vitamin thing i've never done it so i'm one of those babes i'm afraid of chemicals in my body i'm afraid of like weird things that i'm not sure about but maybe after children maybe you know you can consider i don't know maybe most my go-to scent and my favorite perfume so and Haligon's duchess rose this is my absolute fave it smells like heaven sorry guys i just had to move a bit just because the light was like in my face so i was saying my favorite perfumes are this Haligon's duchess rose this smells so so good it's like oh my god it's not too strong it's like a very like subtle smell and it's just like one of those things that you have to get really close to smell it but it smells so so good if someone is getting in there they'll really appreciate this because it smells fantastic it kind of like seeps into your body and just like smells like i don't know your natural body scent just becomes really nice i don't know how to explain it yeah and then there's this um louboutin sioux but hunt i don't know how to exp to say that word but this is one of the perfumes that if I wear this on any day, it doesn't matter where I'm going, everyone will be like, what are you wearing? What scent is that? So this is one of the ones that get the most compliments. One of my favorite for night times, let me show you, which I think is like a, it's like an acquired taste because I know that not everyone likes this Amber Nui by Christian Dior. Um, it's a very like heavy scent. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's, it's very woody. I really, really like this perfume. So this genuinely i love wearing in the evenings it's very sexy and i feel like it smells like you know one of those scents that can almost be masculine but it's feminine in the same in the, in the same breath it just has like a heavy sexy scent that's what i like um then there's the one i wear every day elisab royale this one is affordable and i feel like it lasts forever and it's also like a very nice everyday scent next question is how did i get thick edges i honestly think it's just uh it's either genetic or i just Take care of my i don't wear like tight hairstyles it's rare for me to wear braids i don't wear them that often i prefer like when i'm washing my hair and everything i prefer just doing flat twists with my own hair like i just don't overstress my hair and i feel like that contributes a lot especially with braids even this hairstyle i can already feel my edges being pulled and i'm not comfortable like i'm just like Yeesh! it's painful like once you ugh, i just don't like that feeling so I prefer most of the time i just have like very low manipulation hairstyles next question is how do you travel so often to be honest i feel like once you put your mind to it and make it a priority you will save up you will look for good opportunities to travel you will also um look for cheap like you pl plan ahead like next year you can be like okay i want to travel in july august you're like where do i want to go you look for flights so i feel like it's a it's a matter of priority for me it's like really important i'm also lucky enough to be a travel influencer and and have good engagement and 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 like i create i think i create good content so like every time i reach out to a property and i'll be like hey um i'd like to like come to your property to create content many times they give you free nights um they give you free accommodation many times hotels actually pay you to do this so for me it's kind of the thing where i look for opportunities and different if i want to go to say diani and then i call a property i'll be like hey can i please come let's ha negotiate and like talk about how we can work together so it's most Mostly 
about that and also working with travel companies has helped me so yeah it's my job and it's also about a matter of priority like even if it wasn't my job i know i'd be planning at least two to three trips a year so i'm gonna take a quick break and show you guys my lip routine my lip routine it's getting so hot because the sun is like setting and i'm just like Ooh. it's too much for me okay so I can't remember if it's makeup forever or what i can't remember what the name of the brand is but it's in the shade limitless brown this thing is like the perfect shade of brown for me so i'm gonna just line my lips with that i don't know if it's just me but i really don't like how lipstick looks without a liner how long can i wait for your love little mama If there's something if there's one thing i would do like for sure for sure is like get you know i don't know if people i've seen people doing like tattooed lip liner Ugh, i feel like it would be such a big difference because i don't like how my lips look like without <laughs> liner i don't know what it is but like i feel like they have no shape um so i've lined my lips and you can see it's just like a simple line and right now like on a day today i would actually just wear lip balm on top of this <laughs> but um since we're going for a bit of a glam, I'm going to wear this Lancome Lapsolu Rouge in the shade 481. Guys, if you haven't tried these ones, they're the Drama Ink by Lancome. It's an ink, it's almost like super, super, super lightweight. This is not sponsored or anything. It's literally like I've tried many lipsticks, okay? I have tried many. And this one, these, this range is the one I always give to my mom, give to my aunties, because I tell them you need to try this. Listen, it's like the best kept secret. So, the Drama Ink Labsalu Rouge 481. It sits so nicely on the lips. like, And then they have so many different shades. So, I'm going to use this 481 as like an outline. And then if you're someone who just doesn't like things that transfer, you just like a very matte. Okay, it's not matte. It's like velvety. But it's so lightweight because it's an ink. It's like when you stain your lips and you feel like you have nothing on. That's how it feels. And then um, I go in with something lighter on the inner corners of my lips. Not the inner corners, like the inside of my lips. So I'll either do... Um, shade 288 is the one I like to wear just day, on a day to day. It's very mute. But now I'm trying to go with a pinker pink. <laughs> so I'll do the 274 French tea. French tea. Oof. I wish I could be having this of French tea right now. In the south of France. That would be nice. Yep. So... Yeah, so that's my perfect lip combo. So yes, <laughs> I genuinely love this lip combo. It's always like one of those where I'm like, if I'm going out or doing something like extra, I'll wear this. I'm not usually like a makeup, heavily on makeup, but this is like what this is like me doing the most. <laughs> so I'm going to actually do some blush and highlighter because I completely forgot. Someone asked, what do I think about settling down with someone who is 10 years older? <laughs> someone who is 10 years older. <laughs> Baby girl, that to me is nothing. <laughs> okay, so genuinely I feel... I don't know. I've always thought that men take a, a bit of some time, right? To to mature. Now, if we're on the same level, like who's going to lead the family? Who's going to just like take charge, you know, like properly? And even like I know for our generation right now, like five, six years is usually the norm. Or sometimes someone your age. But like for me, I've genuinely never... I've struggled dating people my age. Um, I've not dated anyone like my age my age because I just feel like I'm just so mature and I'm also like a bit of an old soul. So it's like, ugh, I'm just sitting there like, oh, who's this child? <laughs> the thing is about maturity and um, I think it's fine. It just like the person, the character of the person you're with, um, the qualities they have, the characteristics, their traits, how they treat you, how they treat people around you, how they treat people they don't know. Like those are the things that should be important. Not that he's 10 years older, that's a big no i don't think so next question is would you rather not would you rather not be famous cons all things considering <laughs> can i be honest all things considering i would rather just have me my space my personal time i don't like the fact that if i'm trying to have some private moments i just find people like saying hi hey tell oh my god 
sometimes you actually don't want to be seen you know sometimes and most of the time let me tell you i look homeless like i'm usually a homeless looking babe <laughs> If you see me just walking around like I'm in sweats or like I'm chilling, like I'm actually proper chilling. So you might find me just doing errands and I'm not even looking cute at all. And I know people are always like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like glamorize my life and I'm gonna be, wake up and dress up every day and like be cute. Me, I like to look homeless and I, this is the way it is. Like I just love the freedom of not having to try. Like I'll do a good shower and a good skincare routine, but I'm not gonna like dress up. Oh God. I only dress up when I have to like... Even when I'm going to my mom's place, she's always asking me, like, you don't have other clothes? Because <laughs> I'll wear the same pants, the same top, because that's so that's what my brain is, like, conditioned to wear. So I don't want to think about it. I'm going to play with my dogs. I'm going to get dirty, like, so what's the point, you know? And it's just, like, family, who cares, right? So I can even go in Dira pajamas. Another day, I just woke up, and the way I woke up, I went to my mom's house, and she looked at me, she's like, so... You're in pajamas. <laughs> she actually did us things I never dress up. Or I have the same clothes. And I have a full wardrobe of clothes. But I'd rather just like be chill. So would I rather not be famous? Yes, because a part of me feels like I'm very... The expectation of like being famous is like so not me. Oh my god. The fact that I have to... People expect you to be like always glam. The fact that people expect you to be like super perfect. It's kind of scary because I'm like, I'm so far from that, you know, but um, I'm also very introverted. So it's like, mm, no, please leave me alone. I want to just watch Netflix and chill. I just want to be with close family and friends. Like, <laughs> so there's that part, but there's also the good part where I feel like if I make an impact, it's so fulfilling where it's like someone out there can be inspired by my work. Someone out there can just be like looking at me and be like, wow, I want to be like her because I look up to so many people on YouTube and like there's a lot of people who because I've, I've grown up watching YouTube, there's a lot of influencers and like health and fitness influencers who've influenced my life as it is today. And I feel like if I can do that for someone else, let me take it. Let me take it. So yeah, it's like a double-edged sword. Someone else said, you're so easy to love. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Someone else, else asked, do I have stretch marks? Yes, babes. I do. I do have stretch marks. So the next question is, what are my core values? Um... Uh, you know, genuinely, I have like four strong ones and I feel like I always lead with authenticity. So like for me, when I'm not doing something that I feel is like me, like myself, I've struggled with it. So even when I was at my job, I was working and I'm like, oh, this just doesn't feel like me. You know, that's my usually my biggest struggle is like how authentic am I being to myself? How true to myself am I being? Um, the next thing that is big for me is like humility. I just... Ah, and I think that's one thing that I find really annoying in people who are like pompous, pompous. You know that pomposity thing where people brag, um, talk so grand and highly of themselves. And I just feel like it's good to like um, be confident and be bold and express yourself and ta and plug yourself in things. It's okay. I find that okay if it's done in a healthy way, in a way that it's not like bragging or putting other people down. So for me, once you start with the pomposity or grandiosity of like I'm better than everyone else, I'm like literally like if it's it's my biggest pet peeve. I can't stand people who do that. Ooh, me, I'm always like, hmm, okay, tell us more, Mister. I'm better than everybody. You know, I start even me getting an attitude because I'm like, can you shut up? I always keep my mouth shut, but I'm just like, it's so annoying. Um. So I feel like I find it very important to have humility and not fake humility, to just know that you know nothing at all in this world. Like God is the one who's given you, like you're not the one in control of everything you have. It could go in a day, you could literally lose everything in two seconds. So always striving to just be hum humble and just be grateful for what I have and what has God has given me. And the next thing for me is to be the best version of me. Like I, I strive every day to just wake up and just do better. It doesn't matter how, like, I've been learning to not loathe myself, where you're like, what, you beat yourself down, you're like, why can't you do this, why haven't you done this, no, 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 you know that negative self-talk, so for me, it's like working towards just being the better version of myself, and as I do that, it's like getting to a point where I can love myself through that process, and yeah, be, be a solid human being for yourself, like, be your own benchmark so yeah those are my core values yes, i hope you guys enjoyed that video i hope i answered your questions if i didn't get to your questions i'm really sorry but i'll probably answer them another time i'll do another q a because i really enjoyed the sit down video like just chit chat um i don't know how long it's gonna be and if you're still here kudos to you thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel um if you've been here this long please just subscribe down there so thank you so much for watching